palm stones are so amazing. They fit in your palm. Some are smaller, a little bit bigger. This is a flower agate. Look at all the different colors, the striations, the layers that Mother Earth has brought together in these beautiful pieces. I have two in my personal collection. Let me get this in the light a little bit more. Look at that. And this is re this is huge. <laughs> it's almost bigger than the palm of my hand. And so what do you do with palm stones? If you're a light worker and energy healer, this is black moonstone. Look at the beautiful colors, the different variations, the striations between light and dark for balancing, aligning your yin yang, male and female. Black Moonstone is amazing to help you during the full moon and new moon, primarily the full moon cycles where the energies tend to pull out and for releasing, letting go, forgiveness work. Oh, there's a rainbow. Look at that. Nice. I don't think I caught that one in the light before. Oh, I love it. Okay, so <laughs> palm stones, you can hold in your hand, put them in your pocket, put them on your desk. If you're an energy light worker, a light healer, you can use palm stones for layouts around the physical body, whether you're doing distance healing or in-person physical healing. This beautiful carnelian. Now we found these beauties in Denver and you know, I don't know that we're going to be getting any more. Look at this one. It has a little bit of iron ore or hematite in it. This is carnelian. Look at the oranges and the yellows, primarily for your root and sacral chakra. Here is one golden healer left. Is this a golden? Hematoid quartz palm stone. The hematoid is hematite, which is inside. And you may not be able to see too much of the coloring of it, but here's some of it, the darker parts. And the hematite is excellent for grounding as well as iron is. Then we have a few beautiful amazonite throat chakra. Self-expression, clearing any blockages, clarity for your communication, in writing copy, speaking to someone, speaking to yourself. Look at how beautiful these are. So we have the flower agates. I just fell in love with these when I saw the photos that my supplier was going to be having when he went to Denver and I made a beeline for these and we have just a few left no I will probably not be getting any more not for quite some time maybe for a year maybe not a while depends <laughs> one it depends on what I find and what I'm guided to do and I rarely ever restock the same kinds of crystals minerals or stones because there are so many out there. And it's always fun to discover new ones and to help them find their new forever homes. You can find these in the red crystal section. These are in the multi-colored crystal section, black, yellow, and blue. <laughs> 